In today's review, we are going to talk about a brand that you may or may not have heard of. I'm going to be reviewing a beautiful human hair piece by Gamini Wigs. Let's go ahead and get into this. I am so excited to unbox this with you in this beautiful packaging. I love the packaging that Gamini Wigs does. It's so nice and it's just a fun treat to get something in such a beautiful package. Go ahead and remove the wig from the box. Got a rich, dark brunette color. You can already see that glorious part line there. This is really well done. Each purchase from Gimini Wigs comes with a complimentary wig grip, which is just a really nice touch. The little card here says, meet JL. She is a warrior, she fights for her people and wins. Brave, victorious, and a warrior. So that is the name of this beautiful brunette piece, JL. Let's take a look at the cap construction before I put this wig on. I'm gonna remove the tag. JL is a lace front, lace top wig with a silk liner. Blows wefted back wig. She has bra strap adjusters. An extended nape as pressurized clips at the ear tab for extra security. The best part, let's get her on and see what she looks like. All right, she is on and she is feeling really light and comfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and just brush the hair out of my face a little bit. The first thing I'm noticing is the hair texture on this piece. It is so light and soft, so let's just dive right into that. Gamini Wigs uses premium Brazilian hair texture. It is soft and silky and holds curl fabulously. JL's density is 130%, which is a nice, healthy head of hair. Now, if you're not used to having a ton of hair on your head, 130% may feel like a lot, but I promise it is a very nice, natural density that you'll find across many different brands. Something I like to do to show a visual of the density of the hair is to kind of break it up into sections and twirl it into little ponytails. I think this gives you a good idea of how much hair is on the wig because just throwing out a number like 130% can sometimes be a little bit confusing. So I'm just going to take this front section here. The hair is split down the middle. So I'm just taking this small section here and just showing you how thick that is. Then I'll go ahead and split it in two and put it in a little pigtail. We'll twist that up and you can see how thick it is. For me personally, 130% density is a really great density. I think it's not too full, it's not too voluminous, but it gives you enough movement and coverage that the wefts are never gonna be visible. Gamini Wigs does an incredible job bleaching their knots. Let me get close so you can see what this part looks like. And of course, let's take a look at that lace front. If you're newer to wigs, you may be wondering what all this extra fabric is hanging down on my forehead. That's just the extra lace hanging off of the lace front. The idea is that you trim it before you go out and wear it. Now, one of the advantages of a lace top human hair wig is that you can change the part in whatever direction you want. So right now, it was shipped to me styled with a middle part, but if you are not a middle part girly, don't worry, you can change it and do a side part. I'll show you how easy it is. Now you'll notice that the hair isn't really wanting to stay in that position. When you get the wig, it's going to be styled with a part set into it. A simple trick that I do on any wig that I'm trying to change the part on synthetic or human hair is get the hair damp and then change it and then set it with a blow dryer, just like you would if you were styling your own bio hair. I'm gonna show you what this gorgeous wig looks like from all angles. The density on this is perfect for tucking it behind your ear. And the 19 inches on this one makes it a really easy wig to throw up in a ponytail. 
Now since I have a shaved head, I don't have the advantage of having my own sideburns. If you happen to have hair that matches the color of your wig, you can pull out a little bit of your sideburns and blend it. It gives you a really natural, seamless blend and no one would suspect anything. Since I don't have that advantage, I'm gonna use the wig to create some little wispies around my face and make this harsh edge look a little bit softer. JL is not a ponytail wig, but that doesn't mean you can't wear her in a low ponytail to get her off of your neck. Question that I get asked without fail anytime I review a wig is how does it stay on your head? Oftentimes people are concerned that a windstorm could blow their wig off or that somebody could snatch it off with just a little pull. And I'm here to debunk that myth. All of the wigs from Gamini Wigs are glueless style caps. That means these caps are designed to be worn without the use of adhesives. So how exactly does it work? Well, when you saw me showing you the inside of the cap, you saw that it had those bra strap adjusters. Around the perimeter of this wig is an elastic band that when you cinch it onto those hooks, it's going to cinch around the circumference of your head and keep it on really snugly without being uncomfortable. Let me demonstrate just how secure it is. So I can pull on the cap, it's not coming off. I can flip my head forward and it is also not going to fly off. I'll back up for a second. Not going anywhere, I'll shake my You can feel comfortable and confident wearing a Gamini wig knowing that it is not going to budge. Let's talk about this color. JL is a beautiful, rich, dark brunette with subtle dimension. Right now, I'm sitting in my living room in front of a large picture window. The sunlight is pouring in and you're getting a look at it in natural light. I do not have the ring light on my camera. I'm gonna go ahead and step outside. We have a beautiful sunny day. I'll show you what this looks like in the shade as well as the sunshine. I find the cap on the Gamini wigs to fit really true to size. I'm wearing a medium and it doesn't feel like there's any extra slack. I'll share my measurements. I recently discovered that I have been measuring my head wrong, hello, and so my new updated measurements, if you've heard me share them in the past, are as follows. I have a 22.25 inch circumference, I have a 13 inch front to nape, and I have a 12 inch ear to ear. So those are important measurements. I have other videos detailing exactly how to measure your head and make sure that you write it down because you're going to need that when you reference size charts. Now back to how this medium cap is fitting me. So I normally have issues with medium caps feeling really big and gapy right around this back section of my head, almost where I can pinch and hold a couple inches. This cap does not have that issue. It is fitting my head like a glove. It is super comfortable. It is snug, but it's not uncomfortable by any means. Let's go over some final details on the JL wig. She retails for $1,593 US dollars. She is a size medium and this happens to be an 18 inch style. You can find this wig and others over at GaminiWigs.com. I will drop the link in the description below. And if you have questions about this wig or wigs or hair loss in general, leave a comment or send me a message over on Instagram. You can follow me at Wigfessionals. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.